Yo, what is up guys, Shadow BB here back again with another video for you guys, and today we got ourselves Soyflon from Thousand Year Blood War, the perfected Shunko, on showcase here on Bleach Brave Souls, and today we're going to be showcasing her powers, her abilities, all that good stuff. Now, I don't know about you, but I had to make a good sacrifice to get to this character, bro. I had to do 25 straight summons to get this character even once, like, Sajin just kept getting in the way, I got him 5 out of 5. Old man Yama kept getting in the way. I got him 5 out of 5. I didn't even get a single Toshra at that. I even got two of the old Unahana too. So, I mean, if you guys want to pay your respects for my wallet somewhat, then make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more, and let's go ahead and get straight into this video because I've been actually enjoying this Soifan. This might be the first one I've actually enjoyed since I played with the original Yorichi and Soifan combo that they had back then. It's actually... Well, actually, I got them 5 out of 5, too, if I'm correct. Uh, if I can find them. Let me see. Yeah, this character right here would be my first, technically, Soifan that I ever had. I actually got this 5 out of 5, and I want to test this out, even though it's an older character. But either way, this was my first one, especially with Yorichi as well. So, I mean, either way, let's go ahead and take a look at this character, because she's actually pretty damn powerful. So, uh, she got the enemy's defeated bonus, so at 20, stamina recovery, at 40... You know, full stam damage boost, and at 60, team plus party, strong attack, recharge, and then as well, she has a sprinter, long stride, she also has a full stamina only reduced strong attack cooldown, so you want to keep her at full stam, she also has devastation, full stam damage boost as a bonus effect, paralysis resistance, which is good against, you know, a good chunk of the content, which has a lot of paralysis there, especially guild quests, she also has havoc, frenzy, debilitator, increased stats on a chance against humans, weakened defense as a bonus again, and booster and enhancer and then a status pillage pressure and uh, status element spiritual pressure boost as uh some more damage can get tacked on there so i mean well for the dude this character is pretty crazy as a powerhouse got her t20 and you know we got the links of course down below here with orihime you know biakia and of course toshiro i could switch some of these out in fact there are some better links that you could potentially put on her if i'm correct let me see here. Let me see if I got anything better that I could put on here as far as recharge. I think that I don't have anything at the moment. I might be wrong, but I think we're good. Yeah, so. Yeah, I know. I think that's pretty much as good as we're going to get for the characters that I have. I know that this is pretty powerful links out there that you could possibly use, but I don't have them at the moment. So, you already know the drill. We're taking her into the trials, and we're testing her out to see what we're looking at for damage and her skills out here let me know down in the comments you know who you guys have gotten so far so f you know from this summons for the anniversary how you guys been enjoying it especially with the co-op quest been getting a lot of good sh you know jackpots off of that but either way let's go ahead and get straight into it so of course we got the booster going strong attack one is pretty basic and i feel like with this character you want to position yourself pretty well because she does have a lot of range that she can use if you play her correctly but you gotta position yourself correctly here like that was pretty good right there but anyway moving on here so um strong attack one pretty all right got some pretty big range strong attack root um two will be the booster since it loads here hold on one second and the booster is actually pretty decent too as far as range it's a straightforward attack so i wish it was a tornado but, I mean, it's still pretty damn good. And then, of course, third strong attack, full green. If you position yourself correctly, you can get that uh, status element, spiritual pressure boost. Now, the EX move is actually pretty nuts, just due to the fact that if you use it in the correct place, especially with the new co-op, you can actually get some pretty crazy stuff going. Now, moving over here, you know, go straight into the boost. So, you want to use the boost, and then you basically want to spam your 1 and then your 3. And also, once again, you got to want to keep her at full stam. This isn't exactly the best place to keep her at full stam, just because there's a lot of fire that I keep running into. And then, of course, now I'm running into other characters. So, <laughs> this is not exactly the best run that I'm doing right now. But either way, still pretty decent damage. Alright, now moving over here into the Soul Bomb. Let's go right here. Looks pretty damn good, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I like how they stuck to the enemy with this, and of course, Toshiro's as well. And we're gonna be doing Sajin next, so keep your eyes out for that showcase, because I got him 5 out of 5 when I was summoning for this character. So, <laughs> even though we had to make a lot of sacrifices, we got some pretty decent characters out of it. But, 
I mean, that's pretty much Soy Fun in a nutshell, and she's pretty damn strong, especially in Guild Quest and even with everything else. Like, I'm pretty sure at the moment, outside of maybe Mugetsu, she is the strongest power character in the game uh, as of right now. Like, I might have to make a tier list on, you know, strongest power characters that I currently have, because as of right now, I'd have to say she's the strongest, then you have Mugetsu, and then, of course, Thousand Year Blood War from last anniversary, and then you could even throw in maybe Yama, you know, Ishin for the Brave Battles, obviously, and a couple other characters as well. But, either way, we're gonna try and go through and do this again, see uh, if we can get ourselves a fast run, just so I can get you guys to see what a uh, fast run with this character would look like, or at least a decently fast run, if hopefully and I don't screw it up. <laughs> um, but, either way, let's go ahead. So, we get the boost off, we get in position, full screen it. Okay, that's pretty good. And normally, I would, I'm gonna save my EX, Mainly due to the fact that I'm not in position to use it correctly right now, but either way, that was pretty damn good. And also, once again, staying at full stand because that's going to get me to uh, get my cooldowns to go down a lot faster. So I'm being real careful on where I'm standing at because I don't want to get burned. And I want to make sure that we get all that. So, so far, so good. Staying at full stand, um, you know, not putting ourselves in any unnecessary danger that we don't have to. So we're not getting hit, and that pretty much clears out that room. This is a way better run than the first time. Put Booster out again, dodge him, stand right here. That should get a pretty decent chunk of him. You know, do a bunch of guard breaking right there, and then just for the funsies, I'm just going to launch the EX move, which pretty much blasts right through all of them, except for that one dude who somehow dodged it. We are not at full stand right now, so we're not getting the full damage right there, but I mean, we pretty much made it to the boss within a couple of seconds, so. Boom. I mean, that's pretty much it. That is Soy Fun in a nutshell. Um, really fast, and if you know how to use it right and keep her at full stam, she could do some pretty good damage. Now, as far as raids go, I have no clue because I haven't tested her out in raids currently. And I don't know if there's a raid up that we can possibly use for now. For her, possibly? Maybe? Nah, unfortunately, it's tech. So, um, that'd be uh, Grimmy, potentially. Who would you use in tech? Or Chojuro, who I also kept getting. I think I got Chojuro to 4 out of 5 too. He was one of the ones I didn't want to see a bunch of times. Also, uh, we did get this Uryu who I do want to test out. Uh, let's go over here. Where is my Uryu at? Where are you at? Where are you at? So we did get this Uryu if we move over here. That I do want to test out. Uh, the Thousand Year Blood War version of him. Now, I didn't get him when he first came out, but I got him 2 out of 5, so this might be another showcase that you guys can look forward to, because I do want to test this character out. He's pretty damn strong, and really good with the raids, especially. So, I mean, that's going to be one thing to look forward to, along with the fact that, of course, uh, <laughs> I'm out here getting 5 out of 5 with the characters that I don't want. Now, I did get 5 out of 5 with the Yama. I did say that I wanted, you know, I wanted to get him 5 out of 5, so that's not too bad. Especially for Brave Battles and even in you know, regular PvE content. As for Sergeant, I'm not too sure. You know, I'm going to do a showcase with him, but hey, I did not mean to get him 5 out of 5. I was going for Toshiro and Soi Fawn, so I mean, either way, not too shabby as far as summons go. And I even got a couple of Unohana and Chojuro, which, I mean, it is what it is. So, without further ado, should we be signing off? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know your comments down below, how you guys have been enjoying this character. We got a Yorichi um, video for Bleach Rebirth of Souls. That's also up. You want to check that out. You know, did an overview and review of her game playing kit because she's looking pretty nasty, if I do say so myself. And without further ado, Shinobi be signing off. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.